All right, guys, we're back. Uh, <laughs> took us long enough. Uh, well, besides taking us long enough, I had to. Elvin blood, eh? I was um, I had to one. I had to reset my internet because some stupid happened. But after that, what is up with this game? It's been doing that. It's like doing some weird lag. So we're gonna continue on streaming. I think that took almost an hour. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after. All. Recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee! A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. <laughs> Other than she's awful at it. Thanks for your help. Farewell. That was seriously it. Okay, um. We are going to. We're almost about to level up again, so if we level up twice in a short, such a short period of time, that'd be awesome. We're gonna go here, and then we're gonna get the last. Okay, yeah, you know, never mind. Yeah, they're not even that far away. I was expecting it to be further away. Oh, that's my chin itch. So yeah, sorry about that guys. I don't even know what's been happening with our internet. It's just it's been going out at random times. It's really weird. So we're just trying to get to point A to B. From well, point B to from point A as fast as possible. Looks like rain. Not that long of a run, actually. I should probably save. I should, yeah, you would think I would be saving more. Knowing like games like this, they have been 
prone to corrupt saves. Did, wait, did that guy call me by my name? He called me by my name. Yeah. Oh, that was him. That's not his voice. Somebody else called me by my name. Let's do our. Still can't save now. Oh, wow. Oops. It, it, it's so dark in this building. Ethel was a man. I'm a friend of Dandelions, looking for Elial. You've come to the right oh, spot. Ethel, it was I thought I it was Ethel. Ethel yeah. Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, down your Oh, I already got the mask from him. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. I've already been here. Any better? So you are. Eliha. Did you and Dandelion. I mean. How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> yeah, I have to ask. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, oh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. So does it? Are you like a master, Brad? Then. Greetings. Come oh, I leveled up. My spring collection, perhaps. I think ah. I leveled up. Glad to take a glance at week. Of course, please do. So long. So we didn't level up, but we came close to it though. We uh, to get 40 XP. Pretty sure we'll get that from talking to this last person, like mo more than likely. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. 
And you get bitch slapped? What you all are for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. I have the money, but I'm I'm actually I want to fight because I want to level up. Protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. That was a bold fucking lie. That's what that's all that was. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You were that witch that took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Whoring? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh, dreadful sorry. Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Okay, so the guy was saying that uh, the, the dwarf was saying that he didn't care about class. Is because if he actually did any of this stuff with a rich person, they'd probably have him killed. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. An artist? Or a whore. Apparently, Dandelion was seeing a Troberitz. Blonde, most likely. That's the one. Wait, what was that name? Calanetta. Sounds like an artist, a foreigner, and a whore. Three in one. <laughs> Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some subsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but... It would be nice if you dropped by. Jeez, have some dignity. And we leveled up again. We're le finally level 16. I think that means we are able to wear something. Yeah, we can finally use our silver sword. Put something in here. So poison. I like burning more, so that's I think I'll pick that one. Wait, why didn't I just go through the back door? I just realized I can do that. 
Oh wow, he cleaned this place up. What's this? Definitely cleaned up. This place looked like crap a second ago. Ah, you're back. You met Poppy? If you want to start talking any day now. That field marshal dude is replacement? The marshal was a parrot. You do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mages estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Too much. Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't a stain with any of them. I've not seen hiding or hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of dandelions pick up lines. Hmm. What are you waiting for? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? A lot of his head's on fire. As he's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop, Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Oh, you mean unlike the bad poetry we've been subject to? For, well, the last hour? I, st I have no idea what that is. It keeps doing that. I think it's a. Uh, it's like the game's having trouble keeping up with how fast I'm going. already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Tender caress, 
to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open. Then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both attain. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent, berry star, lilac sweet. To dream, raven locks and twisted stormy. I will follow into the storm to find your heart. Its passion displaced by our ever-growing hardening into stone. Amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace, you flee. My dream come the morning. Your scent, berries tart, lilac sweet. To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy, of violet eyes glistening as you weep. I know not if fate would have us live as one, or if. By love's blind chance, we've been bound. The wish I whispered when it all began. Did it forge a love you might never have found? You flee, my dream. Come the morning, your scent, berry star, lilac sweet. Raven locks and twisted, stormy, of violet eyes, glistening as you weep. Oh. boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. Holy crap, that's the lady who got her face bashed in by those guys, and we saved her. I d d ungrateful cow. I used to listen to music. Music. Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. You got your face bashed in, and I stopped it. The rest, they were going to kill you, so I wish you would. This year's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. 
So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. So, again, I don't remember much of The Witcher no 2, for all this sneaking around. but Denline's a liar. He told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault. Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs the bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I oh god, that was so cliche, and I knew he was gonna say that. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Right, right. Well, bugger all to do here. Where's the Head door? Back to the rosemary. Got Bobby to feed. And then I'll sit there wait. See if our water. I expect blood. bottle behavior, Scamp. What are you trying to do, dude? It's on me. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I am so confused. What is going on in, in this place? It's too dark. Where's that lady at? I want to go punch her face. I saw him kill people. Yeah, the people who are going to kill you. So you can shut your stupid face. What just happened? <laughs> okay. I was someone had told me to come hey, here a while ago. Open up. I'm gonna say that's a trap door. to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Rubin that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. That that little sign in front of the door looks like a trap door. Siki Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm Happen. Your name is Happen? Like what happened to your face? Is... The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Well, why is it that you happen to not have a neck? Oh. <laughs> Your equipment will be safe. 
Oh yeah, I got puns for days. Splendid. Segiruvan awaits in the next room. Okay, move. Jeez. Easy, Cleaver. All son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Oh, so he didn't piss the rest of the group Ruben, off. Your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. I don't know if he slapped her or punched her in the throat. Knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. That's a big ass hammer. I mean, they're. You want me to believe they're all doing this in towels? Really? Towels? Skimpy ass towels. That's funny, he was back he backed up away from him on his own. easy burning people good work gents terribly sorry for that incident my security failed I'll get to the bottom of who why and how they were horse son scum that's the bottom of who and how right there don't start that again especially not in front of our guest who pranced in right before they attacked Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Orson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. I'm fine with that. Geriatric or whatever your plowing name is. Wanna find Horse Sun? Find me first. Any 
clue on Junior's whereabouts, be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I'm gonna <laughs> soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the temple watch. Horson's got nought to do with a casino of Arena sounds promising. Sewers beneath Gip. Now. Mentioned Horson's got a solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wait. See if I can. Do what you will. Just. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's toes. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. 
And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Maybe I can help. I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Well, at least he's honest. So he bought a bathhouse just because he can't go without putting his ankle in uh, the hot, uh, hot water for uh, six times a day. Did he break his ankle or his leg? I was going to say, these swords don't look right. Oh, Bart! Not again! Bart. Bart, stop that! Now! Bart, mad. Bart makes Ziggy lose, your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, hard. Bart, less thinky. Bart, less thinky. Bart, Sadler. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. Oh, see that trap. door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God, then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Want to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart? No. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. It was uh, uh, Dandelion, because we saw him. usual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head fall. Boom. Can you elaborate?
collaborate. Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. <laughs> Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, do you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Are they saying coffin? Is that what I mean? Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass, the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that pop's antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life here. Thanks. You've no to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. <laughs> Sight of the vault's giving him an ulcer. Oh, Jesus. It may have slightly scared me. The snorting is very loud. I'm almost at level 17, which means I can. Which I can put these boots on. I can put both of those on, and my armor can go up. Oops. Do I have to learn to make it first? 